Greetings my chess friends and welcome to this little chess video and in it we're going to discuss the grob opening. Now if I could just flip the board for a moment. Now the grob opening is 1 g4 and it's a very provocative opening and it's been cited as one of the worst possible openings for white but despite that it has a strong amateur following and is played by at least one grandmaster. The opening is named after a master Henry Grob I think. It's funny how they're always called Henry. And he played it invariably with mixed success. The idea is quite simple. White will build an extended uh, structure on the king's wing and Fianchetto his king's bishop. But for us the idea is very simple. We'll simply take the centre because it's being offered and we'll build a pawn phalanx against the activity of the bishop on g2. So it's for this reason that we play the move d5. And here white plays in the modern sense with the move h3. Now our centre is unchallenged. We are very free roll in the centre. White has given us a centre, thank you very much. And we therefore play the move e5, putting a pawn duo in the centre. White carries out his idea of bishop g2. And here we simply build a pawn phalanx against the activity of the bishop with c6. Now white must do something in the centre. He therefore plays the move d4 and here we take the opportunity to absolutely blunt the activity of this bishop on g2 with the move e4. And this is our idea for playing against the grob. 1g4 and we'll simply play bishop to d6, knight to e7, we'll castle kingside and if given the opportunity we will play the move f5 breaking up this extended pawn structure on white's kingside. Now, I'd like to introduce to you a game, a grandmaster game and with white pieces is Michael John Baseman and with the black pieces is the famous or rather infamous Raymond Keane. And Grandmaster Keane shows how to handle this position excellently. And the game continued with the move c4 and Grandmaster Keane continued with our idea bishop d6 Knight c3 was played, and here he played knight e7. And he writes, this is a powerful gambit which casts doubt on white's whole opening. And here, baseman played the move, g5, perhaps anticipating this idea. Bishop to e6 was played, h4, knight to f5, and bishop to h3. And Grandmaster King castles. c takes d5, c takes d5, knight takes d5. And here Black plays the excellent counter sacrifice, relying on his advantage in development to break up this pawn structure and open up the white king. Knight takes f6, or knight to f6, pawn takes, and bishop takes g3 check. 
king to f1 of course king to d2 was impossible knight to c6 bishop to e3 knight b4 king g2 knight d5 king takes g3 knight takes e3 queen to d6 check queen to f4 knight to f3 and e takes f3 and here after 20 moves white resigned and even after queen takes e3 for example black has the excellent queen takes h4 and his position is absolutely helpless so this is how we play against the grob 1.g4 we simply take the center we build a pawn phalanx against the activity of the bishop play bishop d6 knight e7 will castle and if permitted we'll play the move f5 so thank you very very much for taking the time to watch this little chess video and i do hope it provides some practical advice for your own games of chess